I am grateful to the chair for giving me opportunity to present my views on the amendments being proposed to the Folk Act 2012, sir. On behalf of OSRCP, I support the bill, sir. I start with my mother tongue, Telugu. Pillalu Devuni Rupalu means children are viewed as a manifestation of divinity. Children are gods. Any harm to the children is harm to the divinity and to humanity. Because of harmed children, grows with a disturbed mind, sir. Therefore, violence against children is a crime, but sexual abuse of children is a no less than a heinous crime. It is, in fact, a sin without salvation. Sinner must be punished, not only severely, but also swiftly. But what is happening? The amendments to the Bill 2009 shows the gloomy and the insecure situation of the children, particularly girl children in the country, sir. Almost all parts of the country, the heinous crimes are occurring and increasing day by day. The crime rate has increased. The dimensions of the crime is also increased, sir. As per National Crime Research Bureau records, 2014, 34,449 cases are occurred. In 2015, 34,505. In 2016, 36,022 cases are occurred, sir. This is clearly showing the increased crime rate in the country, sir. The Folks Oyas Act passed seven years ago. No legislation can foresee how the future unfolds. If law is unable to meet the needs of changing the situations, it must be re-examined in the light of new circumstances and uh, social conditions. In fact, the every last uh, law must be reviewed after five years to see if it is served the purpose. In view of the present bill, as legislation in the social sector, I want to draw the attention of the August House to consider if law is an effective means of solving complex social problems. Nirbhaya happened in 2012. In the same year, the Pokso Act was made. But the Nirbhaya culprits are still alive, long after being given death sentences. And now they are planning to move curative petition. First it is review petition, then curative petition, thereafter mercy petition. Can law give such a long rope to convicts of heinous crimes even after apex court confirms the death sentence, even in the case of heinous crime. In the cases of Saravana case, it took 18 years for the culprit to surrender and he died without spending a, a week in the jail. As a first-timer, first-time member of this August House, I am thinking lively on the issue. Is it not the right time to put the timelines for judicial proceedings? In our judicial delivery system, there is a long gap between crime and punishment. There is one of the major problems of confronting this country, sir. It is said that justice delayed is not only justice denied, but uh, also justice destroyed. If the court proceedings are go on long, can child a victim, can a child victim sexual abuse to be able to recall the sequences of events accurately? There will be a changes in her disposition, which will be used by the accused to the child disadvantage. The statement may be, may be recorded only once, but to, to soon after the crime, Victim need not be called to the court often or nor asked to recall the crime. The bill seeks to the increase quantum of the punishment, including death penalty. My apprehension is that it may actually lead to the death of the victim in order to destroy the evidence of the, by the culprits. Is this not be the possibility? I am afraid it is, sir. We may not prevent the sexual abuse of children by mere making laws alone. We need to create awareness and take preventive measures. 
Preventive, prevention is always better than cure. The success of law is measured with a wide active public participation in comprehending and obeying the laws. In the case of POSCO, it is absolutely necessary to sensitize the different entities like parents, children, teachers, doctor, police and judiciary. Yes, to understand the purpose of the act and spread the awareness among others. This August House, August House must realize that attitudinal changes can't be brought about law alone. We need to adopt multi-pronged approach, promoting sensitive support to systems by using IEC materials like slogans, themes, posters, videos, etc. Conducting awareness campaigns at educational institutions also. Making short films and screening them with you will educate the public at large scale as we did successfully in anti-tobacco campaigns. Self-help groups and NGOs can play an instrumental role in conducting mass awareness camp programs. Children must be made understand that a sexual abuser may be her neighbor, a family member, a cousin, an uncle, a brother and a parent may be also. A wide publicity shall be given to the quantum of punishment given to the offenders who are booked under the POSCO also. Sexual abuse of children is a, an issue of public health, an issue of human rights, and an issue of social justice also, sir. I suggest to conduct campaigns like say, Child Assault Awareness Month months to educate the people and prevent sexual violence. Special sessions should be arranged to the parents about the possibility of child abuse in any form, in any way. The offenders of children's sexual abuse shall be barred from entering in the, to any type of job, sir. I strongly recommend speedy trial with a, within a timeline also, sir. Even appeal must have a timeline in case of women and children. The compensation must be include rehabilitation of the victim and not merely limited to the medical treatment. Properties of the um, culprits may be seized, sir, and given to the victim also. All potential culprits must be have a fear of consequences in their mind. We, from OSRCP, strongly recommend that the institutional mechanism should be strengthened to enable to prevent heinous crimes, sir. Support the victims whenever and wherever required, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Sri.